Level up family, what's up? I'm back here with another video for you guys. This video right here is gonna be about how to change your deaf filter. Now, if you don't know about this, I was once told that you're supposed to change this filter about every 100,000 miles. Um, I didn't know about it. The way that I found out about it was earlier in the year, I was driving and my truck through this code So my truck threw that code and I took it to the mechanic shop and it made my truck start derating. And also while I was derating, I, once I got to the shop, I found out that it was death fluid, you know, spraying out of the, the housing area. So that's what let me know that it was a filter. I didn't know about the filter at all. The shop let me know about it and they opened the filter up. The filter was clogged. The filter hasn't been changed in the long, who, who knows? So they put a new filter on there for me and closed it back up and the truck was running good. Now, just recently, that happened about a couple, I say wanna say about three, four months ago. Now just recently, like two days ago, I had that same code come back up and i pulled over once i got to my delivery and i checked under there and it was spraying out again so i did the steps that they showed me and i realized that they changed the filter and they cleaned the filter out well all right now i'm not gonna say they changed the filter because i'm not too for sure if they changed the filter i honestly i really think that they just cleaned the filter put the filter back up in there and put the same housing on there and it caused me to have the same problem again, but by them not changing the housing and the, the, rubber gar the rubber garment that's around the housing, that started to mess up and it started to make the fluid spray out again and it kicked that light back on. So I went to the shop and I bought everything that I need. I got my housing, I got my filter, and this little piece also came with it. So I got that and I'm gonna show y'all step by step how to do this, this job. All you need is a flashlight cause you're gonna be under the truck in case you can't see. Need a uh, focus, 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 13, socket, ratchet, one of these and some gloves. But before we can get into this video, you already know what I need y'all to do. I need y'all to hit that like button if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring that bell so that you can be notified every time a new video is uploaded. All right, now let's jump into this. All right, so I'm under the truck now. This is the back of your death tank and this is the the housing and the filter it's down there so i gotta take this off which you can see that they only put two bolts back on here so i'm gonna fix that problem too so i'm gonna take these that bolt off and that bolt off take that out this come off and we're gonna start this process Now, as you can see, this was my rubber garment that was on there, which is no good now. And that's what we're causing all of the spraying to happen out of here. So once the fluid was running in there, it was just shooting out and everywhere. And as you can see under the truck, it's, everything is just wet. 
under here and that's because the death floor was just spraying everywhere so it's a good thing to you know sometimes get up under your truck and every now and then like once twice a week you know do a pre-trip up under your truck i put the little filter housing that that goes over here stuff that down in the cup got the new one on there try to clean it up so it ain't no dirt going up in there but now how you would take the filter out you would just pull down on it it has a little snap on there i'll show you has a little snap on there it just pushes right up in there snaps And voila, that's it. Now, it's time to put the cover back on there and get from under this truck. We're gonna start the truck up and we're gonna see if it's still leaking. kept the cover off so that I could get back under there and look to see if anything was spraying out or if it was leaking or anything, but it looks like we're all good. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put that cover right back on. That's it, family, that's simple. So if your truck ever throw that cold and you pull over and you get up under your truck and you see that you got some, some death spraying out of the, the housing area, you know, just go ahead right to the Freightliner store um that whole kit right there that cost me uh i think it was like 130 or 140 something like that so it's not a lot of money and that's all it is just them little bit of tools get right up under there take that cover off you know and just go step by step like i showed you in the video and it'll save you a couple dollars the first time i got that i paid somebody 400 dollars to do that for something that took them literally about 20 to 30 minutes to do so this way this could save you guys some money hope you guys like the video if you do please like this video and jump down in that comment section and just type level up for me just to let me know that you appreciate this video and this video was very helpful for you and i hope that it helped you out and y'all stay safe out there i catch y'all at the next video